What's up? It's your boy Big G, and yes, corruption officer. I'm back again with yet another message. Um, one thing that bothered me is this morning I ran into a young a young cat out in the street that caught a, caught a charge. You know, he got arrested, and right now he's going back and forth to court fighting a bid. You know, he's fighting charges. And one thing he told me was a lot of people giving him advice about, oh, you know, Oh, they only caught you with that amount of drugs, or they only caught you with this charge, man. You only gonna do a one or three, and you be out of there. You know, you get yourself set up, go, you know, get, go upstate, go to a good jail. Listen, there is no good jail, all right. I don't care how many chipper rules you got or whatever. There is no good jail, and you know, giving these young cats advice like, yo, you only gonna do a one to five, or that's six months. You, it's the first time offense. You gonna come home, you gonna get shot. Yo, one day in jail is screwed up. One day in jail, one conviction screws your life up for a lifetime. I'm not saying you can't bounce back because I'm living proof that you can bounce back. But at the same time, these cats talk about jail like, hey, it, 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 you're going away for summer camp when you're not. Even if you could do the bid, even if you're tough enough and you're mentally strong enough to do the bid and everything, when you come home, you got a lot to fight. You got a lot to go through and don't have an F on you, don't have that felony on your back. You got a lot to fight. So when somebody tell you, oh man, it's only two grams, that's not enough to get this charge, this, that, you still going back and forth to court. You still sweating. You STD. You scared to death. Straight like that. I mean, you go to jail, you come home, and then you got to fight for a lot of stuff. Me, when I came home, I was on parole. I was thirsty. I humbled myself. That's the first thing you got to do is humble yourself. You get, you're you not making the money that, that you used to make. And the same thing you did to get in jail, you can't come back out and do the same thing. Period. Or else you ain't learned nothing. You ain't learned nothing from your mistakes. Now, I came home. I applied for MTA, a, a city job from inside jail. I was supposed to come home in January. They called me that December. I went down there. And the only reason I didn't get that job because I was on parole. And now, speaking of parole... I don't know how many cats I saw in jail begging and pleading, please let me get work release, please let me get parole, only to get parole or work release and come right back in. You know what they come back in for? Yo, it was my birthday, so I smoked one blunt just for my birthday, my P.O. bugging. Did you read the rules and regulations or the stipulations of you getting work release? No alcohol, be home by seven, no drugs, get a job, yeah. You beg for this, you want you rather that than to be locked up in jail, but as soon as you get it, on my birthday, I had one drink for my birthday, my P.O. bugging. Yes, that's what they're there for. They're there to bug. Yeah, they want you to go back in there. When I came out home and they called me for the bus driver job, my P.O. told me, you can't get that job. Because then you'll be right where you was before as a CO, because right now it's so law that if they strike a bus driver, it's like striking a cop. And he didn't want me to have that job. So I had to go and get an uh, ambulance driving job for $7.50 an, an hour. And I was just as proud as that because I needed a job. And I didn't think nobody was going to hire me again with a felony. So all these cats out here giving these cats advice about, yo, don't worry, you do a little six months. A little six months will, could crush your life. In jail and out of jail. You know what I'm saying? So stop listening to these cats, because a lot of cats, jail is all they know. So they're going to give you that advice. Oh, uh, man, you, once you start bidding, it'll be nothing. you get it over with. No. Be afraid. I don't, I don't care what you call me, punk, whatever. Be afraid of jail. Yeah, I said it. Be afraid of jail. It's not where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Yo, and I'm out. Check out my book, Corruption Officer. Go to my page. Corruption officer, and you'll see more videos like this being posted in the future. Peace, and I'm out.